I want us to quickly react to Natasha's makeup thing. We, we kind of brought it up the last time she was on, but we didn't really get to go do a deep dive into it. So just to give context, I posted this on TikTok and also on YouTube. It went, it did pretty well on YouTube too. Um, Natasha, if you don't know, um, she fervently hates makeup with a passion. In fact, she, she's actually a, um, a terrorist and wants to um, like plan terrorist acts on uh, cosmetic companies. FBI, open up. Okay, so I'm kidding. I'm kidding about that last part, but she does not like makeup, although she is wearing <laughs> makeup tonight. So uh, the clip went viral on TikTok, got eight, 20 million views, I don't know. Um, and it's a fairly tame video. And then I released in December, and then it's just been picking up steam. Something like 5,000 people have made, have used the original sound um, thank, thank you, Carson. Oh, 4,800. 4, Can you scroll down a little bit, Carson? And it's basically, so we'll, we'll watch the video. Keep scrolling, Carson, while I talk about this. So um, basically, she's just saying she doesn't like makeup. It's pretty fucking tame opinion. And then like all these makeup girls on TikTok, which is apparently almost 5,000, well, there's a ton, like did their makeup using her voiceover, which is kind of hilarious. So... Uh, yeah, so why don't we go ahead and just watch it so people know what, what it is. And uh, yeah, go ahead. I don't like makeup. I'm against makeup. I don't think it's good for Carson, is it at 70? I don't think they really need to be using it, honestly. I think it takes yes. away. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Makeup is, it's capitalizing on women's insecurities when it's something that they can easily fix. I think it takes away from a, woman, a woman's natural beauty, and also, it is so bad for you. Like, you think about how skin absorbs things. I, when you read the ingredients on a foundation bottle, what is in it? You can't even pronounce it. It's yeah. a bunch of crap that you're putting on your face. And that is in turn making your skin worse, so you have to keep buying more foundation to yeah. cover up what it's creating. I don't like makeup. I, okay, I, so that's the video. Before we have Natasha give her take, we're going to have the girls react, give their thoughts. Go ahead. I think this is a totally fine take to have. It might not be something that I share necessarily. I do wear makeup, and I do recognize that a lot of when I personally put on makeup, it does have to do with insecurity and covering things up. So I know that I'm personally susceptible to that. And no, I'm not, I'm not offended by what you said at all. That's your personal opinion. Be honest. <clears throat> so I asked you this actually before we started about what mascara you use. Yeah. Because, um, you know, you stated I hate makeup. I, I think that it's bad for you. I think that it's awful. Seeing as, you know, I've actually seen your video on TikTok. And I commented and I was talking shit. Because I had looked at your videos and it was like, you can clearly tell when you do wear mascara compared to when you don't and your opinion being it's really bad for you but you use something that literally goes around your eyes which you would think is way worse than putting something just on your face such as foundation um would be very hypocritical i mean i would i would understand if you were like hey i hate makeup and you absolutely just don't use makeup then you know that's fine um but also saying that it just targets insecurities for women um, maybe some, you know, like she said, sometimes she puts it on because she wants to cover something up. I think a lot of women use it as an art and it takes a lot of technique and some people just do it for fun. And you're right. Like when makeup first became a thing, people used it as, Hey, like I look ugly. Let me put some on. Um, but me personally, and a bunch of the ladies here who are wearing makeup probably are wearing it just because they like it because it makes them feel good. And that shouldn't be something that should be hated on especially because it's a normal thing everybody does it what what was the comment that you left what did um, it say i actually i think i had made a comment how she was wearing mascara i think it oh, was that's just, it? Okay. i think it was like you're very hypocritical um talking shit on women and talking down on women for wearing makeup when that's you not still what she did mm, that's yeah, not what she did she was being yeah, critical of right. makeup but saying that saying hey i don't like something but doing it is very hypocritical like, it's like when women say one thing but mean another thing. You tell everybody, I am against it, it's really bad for you, but then you use it. Like I said, I would, 
I would agree with you if you didn't use makeup whatsoever at all. I would just like to clarify that my sole purpose of saying that was mainly to just address that it is bad for you. And so that is why any makeup product that I buy, while I only use mascara, um, but anyone that I would buy and do ever buy are only organic, clean brands. Um, so that's very important to me. Um, but yeah, I could definitely see why it can be hypocritical and can be perceived that way. Um, I think there is a big difference of only using mascara as opposed to like using the whole rundown, you know, like caking your face, using every um, product that they have out there, you know, as many girls do. And I don't blame them for that. Um, I mostly just think that it is unfortunate that there are so many girls out there today that feel that they need to leave the house wearing makeup. I think that's not a problem with the women, but that is an ill in our society that they have been brainwashed to believe that they need, they need that to be beautiful or to feel beautiful. It's, it's not good. It's really not good. And I, I don't know. I just, I wish that there was a way to change that. Um, the, me saying that really wasn't a hit at women. It was just to like bring light to issues that I find are very important. And, and I agree with you clearing it up now. I think it just could have been worded differently. Honestly, um, in a way that yeah. was more just, yeah, makeup's not good for you. You should pay attention to the products you use. Um, and it is sad that women, there are women out there who feel the need to have makeup on before they leave the house. Yeah. Um, so, like I said, it could have been worded differently or, you know, but I think a lot of people saw it and were like, damn. Don't walk it back, Natasha. No, I, I, I actually don't mind the way that I said it. I know that it was um, very blunt, but I think sometimes you have to be blunt for people to listen to you. For example, like, this is a bad example, but Andrew Tate, everything he ever said, if he didn't say it in the way that he said it, it would have never caught traction. He would have never become who he was, you know? And not that I was saying that to be like, I mean, Andrew Tate's kind of, you know, very rude and disrespectful, but um, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't saying I it to be that, that way. You don't think that way? No. I, I think mean, she Andrew loves Tate, it. She I loves Andrew Tate. Tate says things that... Well, that it's, it's, it's all jokes, it, you know? He, yeah, but even then, I, I feel like he has a good point on certain things. I feel like how you take it personally is on you, but he is very... He is an alpha male, and that he teaches other men how to not how to be, be rude, uh, not to be pussy with alpha by <laughs> females. <laughs> Wait, yo, quick, <laughs> quick question, but we're going to continue with the makeup thing. Andrew Tate gets re actually. Let's say he doesn't even get released. Mm -hmm. Some through through one of his networks. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> he invites you to Romania for a conjugal visit. Do you take it? Like, for fun or like? To have a conversation for fun, huh? Wait, Sanctual. what did you mean? <laughs> sexual? <laughs> oh no, no, not for sexual. Like I, like I said, when I when I listen to his his podcasts or the things that he says, um, it's I know it's very contradictory. One eternity later. But no, no, not for no. no. Uh, you would not do a conjugal visit. No. How about after he gets released? No. <laughs> not not even. No. Come on. Andrew Tate no. slides into your DMs. No. Come on my yacht. No, I don't find him attractive and I don't care about materialistic items. Cool. Okay, so let's go back to the makeup thing. Um, do you have a reaction to the video? Um, I, I do understand how some girls could take it, you know, take it to heart, take it to offense. I personally, I wear makeup, obviously. Um, her and I were actually having a conversation in the car. I would prefer if I had great skin you know and i felt comfortable being on social media just being out without it i uh dealt with acne ever since i was eight years old um got on accutane now i don't really get breakouts but i still have scarring and you know i get naturally red so i feel yeah i feel comfortable with it on i try not to wear it as much because it is terrible for you but you know so is alcohol so are a ton of things that we all do vaping you know i personally don't vape anymore but it's really about picking your poison um, cause almost everything is toxic for you. Even touching plastic, we can get into that, how much microplastics we have in our goddamn bodies. But yeah, it's really about picking your poison. And I also do find it at times an art and it is fun. But at times I also feel like I just want to cry because I feel like I have to put on makeup and I'm tired and I don't want to put on makeup, but I feel like if I don't, I'm going to be out and I'm going to feel insecure. And it's a massive insecurity issue. I will admit it again. I've, I had acne since eight years old. It's going to be an insecurity issue for the rest of my life. And I'm taking steps to better my skin and whatnot. And I'm not trying to take over this whole conversation, but yeah, I don't know. I, I agree. I can see it from both sides, but I do see how makeup can be very damaging but i'm glad it's here so i can feel better about going out 
Do you have a reaction to the video? Um, I think you're entitled to your opinion. Uh, personally, I don't wear it like on a day-to-day -day basis, but I think if people do, then they should, and that, like, again, like, you brought up a great point that, that, like, it is bad for you, yes, but there are so many other things that, like, we do that are also bad for us, and I also think that, like, um, I personally don't wear it, like, all the time, I mean, I'm wearing it now, but, like, I don't wear it all the time, because you're right about, like, how it feeds into your insecurities, but I think it's fun to, like, when you're, like, going out at night or something to, like, get ready, like, personally, my favorite part of the night is, like, getting ready like with my friends and like putting on makeup and stuff so I think it can be fun uh, but I personally I don't think like I do think that it does feed into insecurities so I think kind of like if I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say, but I think that if you want to wear makeup or if you don't want to wear makeup, that's completely fine and that's up to you and nobody should be judging you if you do. Yeah, no judgment. Just... Yeah. Yeah. I don't have steak. Like... <laughs> yeah, you do. You were talking shit about it before the show. You were? No, I wasn't talking. I mean, I wasn't you, talking. You li Come on. What? Yeah, what was your... Is it because you're sitting wear, next to each other? I Go wear ahead. a makeup. Like, come on. You can obviously say what is my opinion about that. But I do it because I like how I look without with it and without it both. Right now, I felt more comfortable wearing it. Maybe because it's my personal insecurity. Maybe because I wanted to look better than I am. I'm not ashamed to acknowledge that we all try to look better than we are. And makeup is one of the things. But um, I don't... I don't think there's any way to like blame anybody for doing what they want. Okay. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> Someone doesn't hear. What? what? Before the show, you were like, I'm going to rip into her. That was me. No, that was, you said. No, that you know, was, that was, I was uh, talking to her about it. And because I was like, that's the girl that made the, the fucking <laughs> that's video. That's the girl, right? The girl that said we shouldn't wear makeup. I don't care. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Natasha, your <laughs> overall reaction <laughs> to their reactions? <laughs> or my or do you have do you have anything to add? Honestly, no. Um, have you gotten any hate messages into the mic? Yes. Yeah, I have. Any death threats? <laughs> Not that I've seen. No. I stopped reading my comments a long time ago. I get you didn't them. get any. I still get hundreds a day. Death threats. Um, I not that I saw. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not gonna lie. There was a oh lot in those God. comments. I'm over like, makeup, hello. Yeah. Like people are pretty awful. over makeup. Pretty crazy, honestly. Yeah. I think so. People you you were getting a hundred a day. Still, hundreds of, yeah. Still, still. DMs a day. Um, just comments. Because you're not even like tag like you're not tagged in it. Well, They'd have see, to investigate. No, it's on my TikTok because I made a reaction. Oh, video. you reacted to it. Okay. Um, that's where they're coming from. <laughs> I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So you you got a bunch of hate. Mm -hmm. um, can you just double down and be even more talk toxic about makeup? Really? You want yeah. me to just go off? <laughs> yeah, just go off. No, yeah, just do it. Oh my God. You want me to say something? Okay. Yeah. What else you got? Say something about the long nails. Long nails. Yeah, what do you Fake think nails. about whoa, whoa, long whoa, whoa, nails? Whoa, 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 Well, I'm not gonna about whoa. to start attack attacking yeah, everyone here. Yeah, with yeah, the yeah, yeah. Uh, Say something. How about... Okay. I'm, a, I'm not about, about to be a bully it here. That's about, not what about, I am. How about you say something about nails? Yeah, since what do you, you have, have to say? To say. <laughs> what do you have to say? You brought it up? Let's Come on, let's hear it. Because I have the longest nails here, so I'd love to hear it. I just... It scares me. I have an idea that they want to scratch my eyes away, like from the scary movies. And I feel like a lot of guys told me it's a turn off for them. I don't want to like say much here, but mm -hmm. like, I mean, and I know that you don't do it for the guys. You do it only uh -huh. for yourself, only for your own self-fulfillment. But I'm just saying we all try to be more likable and we all try to be approachable. That doesn't I make don't. you more approachable. I don't. Okay, I do. then. Uh, my nails are then for don't. me. And I mean, even then, Nathan doesn't have a problem with them, so. But I mean, not I, get dating I, I get it though. I mean, I understand not a lot of women can have long nails. But what's your like? I mean, you're saying it's scary, but why? Oh, I have is that great why nails. Like them, I don't or? have any. I don't need to have fake nails to have long nails. Maybe that's why people want to like. The same was the makeup. But I'm just saying, for me, it's a scaring moment. The same was lashes. 
<laughs> like, okay. I'm just scared. <laughs> okay, well, I'll wear my bold stripper lash all day, girlfriend. You don't, you don't need yeah, it. Your I'll lashes wear it. are scary. You're scaring her. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're just scaring. scaring. <laughs> yeah, you're scaring. scaring. I know. I, I love my bold stripper lash. People <laughs> talk shit. I really don't care. Are you scared I, right now? What? Are you gonna have like nightmares? Are you scared? No, I'm scare just you? Uh, like, it's like, it's like from those you know scared? horror movies. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> For me, the lashes thing too. Like my eyes are just not exciting without them. I just like them personally. I I don't need them. I I don't mind. I just like it. It's fun. Same. <laughs> Welcome to the. <laughs> okay, falling apart. Welcome to the whatever studio. Now it's getting where scary. It's getting scary. Carson, can you try to put that back up? Chad Carson, gonna <laughs> try to line it uh, lower, a little lower, a little lower, and then like uh, line it up against the edge of the Maybe wall. Maybe it's a sign from the god or something. Right right yeah, right at the corner. Perfect. How's that look? Beautiful. Just apply pressure. Well done. <laughs> Hell yeah, Chad Carson. By the way. Not Wait, going Carson. It's not right now. Uh, just pre hold on. I'll, I'll, I'm coming to help you. Okay, you guys keep cat fighting. I'm gonna help Carson with that. Um, Carson, just do like a little tricep flex, just to. Holy. So, so what do you mean by like men? Men don't like it, or a lot of men aren't they attracted. Don't, they to find it attractive. Do you base your decisions off of what a man would like? It's, no, I I'm mean, just saying. Because for me, like I said personally, the guy that I'm involved with. His his dad did my but nails. But you involved with him. His You're dad not did like... my nails. So, I mean, I feel like it's the same thing with makeup. Like, if you want to wear it because it makes you feel good, then, you know, it makes you feel good. But for mm -hmm. me personally, like, I've always wanted to do nails or lashes. Mm -hmm. And it's not that I wear it because I'm insecure or whatever. I do it because I, I like it. I think nails are super cool just to see what other people can do art-wise or crystal-wise. Um, it's just super unique and I've always been known for having like wild ass designs on my nails and they actually used to be longer and they used to be square so I've actually down died down a little bit um and I mean she's got short nails no I have no problem with her nails <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious if you guys were dating a guy and let's pretend you all have long nails and he's like girl I really love you but I don't like the nails could we get rid of them would you be yeah. getting rid of them I mean with the guy that I'm with now, if he if he was like, hey, I don't like them, then mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, like I said, his dad did my nails. Okay, is that so, so if he if he didn't like it, then is that because you value his opinion? Um, it's because we have a very good understanding with each other, and um, I do value his opinion because I am a representation of him. Mm. Um, and <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I mean, so you get yes. rid of him? Yeah, yeah, I would. I oh. oh. Yeah, so sorry. Um, I also just want to say too, you can you can honestly tell when a girl is doing her nails and her makeup to get a guy's attention. You can also tell the difference when a girl is doing it for herself. She has a different kind of swagger, a different kind of style. Mm -hmm. Guys do like that. Guys like when girls take initiative and have confidence and have their own style. I've I've seen it so many times where I'm like out with guy friends and they see a girl and they're like damn she's hot like she has style like i like her nail like i like what she's got going on and you can tell she's literally doing it for herself because she has a different kind of style when girls are trying to erroneous. do it for guys erroneous <laughs> <laughs> you said you said men like confident women yes like girls who take care of themselves like i had nails before i met him what's the opposite of confident insecure insecure insecure, insecure. Give me an insecure no. chick. Well, actually, <laughs> most, most women who are insecure about themselves and do I'm make kidding. up our nails for sort of, men really. are insecure women who and, do it for the attention of men are insecure. And a, and a confident woman doesn't necessarily always have to have the nails and the makeup either. A confident woman could be just confident not wearing makeup and just men like confident women, women where the, they have their own style, they do the whole get up or they don't do makeup at all and they're confident with it and they're confident just being like chill. Not that other women aren't chill, but... Yeah, confidence. Yes, men like confident women, 100%. Victoria, do you want to talk more shit about nails? Anything Why else? Why would I do no. that? What else you got? <laughs> Anything else? Let's hear it. Anything else? Oh, Anything else? Holy shit. Oh, my God. Right. Oh, my God. Get it together. That was what do you? Okay, from a male's perspective, what? how do you feel about acrylic nails? Acrylic nails? Nails. Like long nails. Honestly, red flag, not going to lie. <laughs> but is it I something that, flag. like bothers you like if you were talking to a girl or you were dating her would you be like hey like those mm. gotta go like not necessarily like mine but maybe like as short as hers or whatever 
honestly, like the thing is, Does it, the do you type of chicks that? that wear fake nails aren't interested in me. I'm going to say it. <laughs> they just don't fuck with me. Like, so it's not a problem. It just cancel, okay. <laughs> cancels itself okay, never out. Never mind then. Never but, mind um, then. cause I don't know. I feel like I definitely prefer it. It's kind of, I don't like the very, all the extra shit. Ryan, what if she's I, not, I what if she's got like crusty cuticles and shit? What's up? Like crusty cuticles? Like, like, what? Like, I mean. Like what if she's got like crusty cuticles? Like she doesn't get her nails done. She doesn't go like clean look, up her cuticles. She bites her nails. I don't think nails, that has to do with like, maintenance and, and hygiene. I want a chick that's ready for a fucking zombie apocalypse. <laughs> and that shit's going <laughs> to fuck you up, man. <laughs> Bro, I could fuck somebody up with these nails. She could. Exactly. I could. 100%. Like, I could. 100%. Here, make a closed fist. <laughs> Close your yeah. fist. It, it also, yeah. You don't need it. They're it pointy. also pointy. says that you don't work out because it's impossible to work out with I that. I work out. It's, Im- it's impossible I, to I, do pull-ups, let's no, say, No, I used that. to I used to go to the gym when I had like long, square-ass <laughs> nails. Well, because now my time goes elsewhere. Where does it go? <laughs> Feet picks? No, not anymore. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, so your question is... Wh- on the acrylic nails thing. Look, people, for, you can do whatever you want. You want to wear it, that's fine. Me personally, I would prefer my girl not wearing it. Don't find it particularly attractive. Mm-hmm. And there's chicks that don't like pasty motherfuckers like me. So it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I do not like pasty motherfuckers. I'm, I'm pale as fuck. <laughs> Check this shit out. Boom. Look at that. It's white as fuck. Like, it's all good. We all got preferences. I just happen to not like caked on makeup and fake nails and yeah. So, um, but c- keep talking shit about fake nails. Go ahead. No, I'm good. Okay. You're good. So we discussed it a lot. Agree or agree. Agree, agree, <laughs> agree, <laughs> agree or disagree with the following statement. A man's face is his autobiography. A woman's face is her work of fiction. Ooh. Agree. Or disagree. What is work of fiction in this context? So nonfiction would be like a thesaurus. <laughs> <laughs> or like, yeah. Fiction is like Harry Potter. And, and you're basing that off of the makeup thing? Yeah. Makeup, plastic surgery. <laughs> like a woman's face being like a mask. Oops. Like, I got not it. real. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> I see what you mean. <laughs> I, I, see, I think it depends on the woman. Yeah, 100% agree. 100%. I mean, also, too, like, again, women who wear makeup, we don't always wear makeup 24-7. I mean, if you're going to bed with makeup, you should probably not. Yeah. I mean, oh, you should probably take that shit off. I don't know. Weird. But, like, I don't know. Yeah, sometimes we wear it, sometimes we don't. Like, and if I'm around you and I don't wear it, then, yeah, that's who I really am. Like, I don't care now going out into public yeah i'm just insecure about it again because i've had bad skin but like when i'm around co- people that i love and i'm comfortable i don't care like it's that that's naturally me like i'm around my fiance all the time without makeup and he loves me without makeup he loves when i do it he loves me without it he doesn't care he likes my nails he likes when i don't do them I, this is actually the first time i've had nails in like over a year so it's funny that i came on the show with nails um but yeah okay all right so I, I guess just my whole take on the whole makeup thing is, is that I believe that makeup is the most accepted lie in society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agreed. Very true. Agreed? Huh? Agreed. Uh-huh. Agreed. 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 Yeah. Agreed. Oh. Yeah. yeah. What do you? Well, because I've had girls on, and I say, I'm not. I'm not necessarily. Well. I'm not necessarily saying that makeup is bad, although I think I certainly believe that, but I'm not saying that. <laughs> and, uh, and I'll say that makeup is effectively, you're lying about your appearance. Yeah. And they say it's not lying, but do you agree? I think plastic that, surgery is worse than makeup because you can sure. take away the makeup. But makeup is a daily thing. Like some women never take off their makeup. You wanted to come in? Also makeup, enhances beauty that's already there you can if you're not symmetrical scientifically if you're not symmetrical you can only you can only put so much makeup on and it's not going to make you look that much better 
symmetry is everything it really is scientifically attractiveness is based on symmetry yeah have you seen what some of these women do with makeup you some got you got like talented. you got like 13 year old girls out here with like so much makeup on they look like they're like 20 yeah. oh i i, like, I agree like, it's definitely scary carson can you try to find that tiktok of that girl with no teeth who does a makeup <laughs> transformation <laughs> and then what? No teeth. do you know have you seen it carson just like search google in another tab just search for hold on Korean search google girls? for uh Korean girls? uh no but teeth do, they do makeup a plastic surgery too. they put tape on their face and they like put things in their nose and they tape what? their face and stuff like oh korean God. makeup is like they're extreme they put on like huge contacts tape on their face mm. okay well that's wild yeah. uh, that, and that then they take it off they yeah. take it off and they look like a reconstruction else. yeah i think personally like a lot of like you were saying about the korean girls like mm -hmm. you can use makeup for fun and things like that but most women use makeup to enhance their features and when you take it off you normally look very very similar like i think i look almost exactly the same i just what do you think what don't have as long as lashes or stuff like that, but it's. I don't think it's a big change for most women. Does anybody want to remove their makeup? I got I'll you. I'll do it. I got I'll do you. it. Okay. And never mind. I, I didn't think. I, I'll, I'll do it. it. I, mean, I didn't think. I didn't really think matter. any of you would 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 actually take me up on it. Um, you actually want to remove your makeup? We'll remove yeah. it. Do yeah. I have All to? of you? Yeah. Shit, I don't know. Has this ever one. happened in the history of Not this Not yet, podcast. but hold on. Let me Ask the chat if they want us to. <laughs> yeah, chat, should they take off their makeup? Yes or no? <laughs> I guess so, yes. We'll, we'll do the rest of it. How about, you know what, we'll save it. Maybe we'll do it I might need a, a bit later on. Mascara. What's remove that? The I might need a mirror for the mascara. Yeah, that's too kind. It's when that's you take off mascara. No, I can take off like this. Yeah. Okay. Carson, were you able to find it? 